With diverse flora and fauna, magnificent natural landscapes, and an ecological biosphere that supports life, this wondrous planet is our earthly home. From our animal co-inhabitants to the lush rainforests and life-giving soil, we cherish all these as gifts from the Creator. It is a common theme in the world's major faiths that during our temporary stay here, we should be good stewards of Mother Earth. Throughout the years, Supreme Master Ching Hai has shared the message of leading a balanced life while following a spiritual path. Not only must we nourish our spirits, but we share the responsibility to care for nature and our fellow beings. In light of recent scientific evidence stressing the grave state of our planet caused by climate change, Supreme Master Ching Hai affirms the important message she has noted for over the past two decades. We must be vegetarian, meaning an animal-free diet, and practice sustainable living. Today we present to you Supreme Master Ching Hai's discussion on climate change titled A Great Mission, Saving the Planet via video conference with Supreme Master Television staff in California, USA on November 26, 2008. Hello, Master. Hello. How are you? I'm all right. I have two questions. Uh, first one is, I wanted to know if uh, initiates, for example, if they uh, develop the ability to speak with animals uh, telepathically, can they reveal it or even work as animal communicators? Only when necessary. Otherwise, uh, keep it to themselves. They will be busy in themselves with answering all kind of curious questions which are not really... Uh, very helpful to the animals or for the caretaker, you know. If necessary, yes, you can review. And if uh, they like to work as an animal communicator, yes, why not? Okay. You know anyone or is you yourself? Sometimes there were moments where I thought I understood the dogs around me or my dog, yeah. but I'm not sure if it was true. You have to verify it with the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> you have to ask questions to him, that can be verified. And then slowly, slowly, you will gain confidence and you know if it's true or not. Do you have communication with other animals or just with your dog? With my dog, I had a few moments like that. Now I walk other people's dogs, so mm. I sometimes I kind of feel what they're saying, but very rare. Like, for example, um, I was at home and uh, I was very busy at the computer. And then my friend came over and I was stressed because uh, I thought that uh, I needed to finish some work. And mm. then my friend came and I knew that she will soon leave, but I was impatient. Mm. I wasn't like all there mentally because I wanted to come back to my work. And the dog was there and she kind of noticed it probably. And she said, hey, she said, you, you be nice to her. But then I said, oh, you know, I, I'm just stressed. It's not that understand. I'm not nice. And she said, yeah, okay. Yeah, I understand. Yes. Sometimes we are very stressed and we forget to consider other people, like she came from far away just to see you or yeah. some special important thing to her or something like that, of course. So the dogs are to remind you that's correct. <laughs> Even if it wasn't the dog who told you, it's also correct reminding, <laughs> okay? That's true. But maybe it's the dog who told you. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Dogs, they don't talk a lot unless necessary. You know, animals, they don't chatter all day like we do. <laughs> so only when necessary, they reveal something to you, and that's correct. Okay. Okay, you happy there? Yeah, I'm very happy to be here, Master. I'm really Good. grateful for the opportunity. Good. Hi, Master. Hi. I'm so grateful for everything you have done for us and for the Earth. I feel very happy to be your disciple every day. And mm. I appreciate very much. I feel I still need to improve in many aspects. I hope I can learn more from you. Mm, can I be a practitioner, follow you forever in the universe, at any levels and on any planet? Thank you, Master. In many levels, not every level. Some level you cannot go. As far as everybody else can go, you can go. Thank you, Master. Welcome.
Master, um, at this point we have a surprise entertainment program. Uh, you have very yeah. much inspired us with your poetry, music, and singing. And, and so some of our brothers and sisters would like to dedicate some songs in their native language, especially Good. for you. I like that. Great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Bravo. Uh, Master, this is uh, an Italian song, and it's, it is called uh, Raggio di Sole, which means uh, ray of sun, because you are the sun in our life, Master. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Very sweet. Benvenuto raggio di sole a questa terra di terra e sassi a questi laghi bianchi come la neve sotto i tuoi passi a questo amore, a questa distrazione a questo carnevale dove nessuno ti vuole bene e dove nessuno ti vuole male Benvenuto, raggio di sole, avrai matite per giocare e un bicchiere per bere forte, un bicchiere per bere piano, un sorriso per difenderti e un passaporto per andare via lontano. Benvenuto a questa finestra, a questo cielo sereno. A tutti i clacson della mattina, a questo mondo già troppo pieno, perché lontano passa una nave, tutte le luci accese, benvenuto figlio di nessuno in questo paese. Thank you, Master. Oh. <laughs> benissimo, benissimo. <laughs> Molto grazie. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Um, we would like to present a Chinese song entitled Gratitude to You. And it's oh. about how you've always been with us through every step of our lives, even during the hardest times. And uh, all the goodness in us, it begins from you. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Na ika tua shi de chao tian, de chao tian. Yo ni pei zhe suo yi rong yi zou guo, qi shi zai zui shen chen de shi ke. Na yi duan shi wen de ri zi, de ri zi. Yo ni fu gai zhe wo dan bo de xin, qi shi zai zui yin len de jiao luo li. 别以为我真的不明白，你宠我宠得像个小孩，说感激，说感激，说不完的感激，说感激，说感激，说不完的感激。我生命里所有的好。都是由你开始的，说感激，感谢你，<笑>谢谢谢谢。Hi Master， 哎 ，I would like to um have a song yet named the Nong Hương， and it mean um um。The longing for one's country. I would like to dedicate to you, Master. Thank you. Quê hương tôi có con sông đào xinh xắn, nước tuôn trên đồng vuông vắng, lúa chờ đẹp hai mùa, dân trong làng trời về khuya vàng tiếng lúa. Quê hương tôi có con đê dài ngây ngát, lúc tan trời chiều xa tắm, bóng nâu trên đường bước dồn, lửa bếp nồng vồm che non làn khói ấm hương thôn. Ai về về có nhớ nhớ cô mình chăng? Tôi về về tôi nhớ. 
hàm răng cô mình cười à. Ai về, về mua lấy, lấy miếng cười Để riêng tôi mua lại mảnh đời thơ ngây thơ à. Thank you, Master. Thank you. Very nice. You forgot the, the buffalo. <laughs> yes. Um, that's the second part of the song. <laughs> you didn't sing. Có con trâu già xinh xinh Yes. Yeah, sing this the second part. Quê hương ơi, bóng đá ôm đàn em bé, nắng trưa im lìm trong lá, những con trâu lành trên đồi nằm mộng gì, chờ nghe tôi thổi khúc sáo chơi vơi. Quê hương ơi, tóc sương mẹ già yêu dấu Tiếng ru nỗi niềm thơ Cánh tay em tựa mãi đầu Ôi bóng hình từ bao lâu còn ghi mãi sắc màu Tình hoài hương, khói lam vương tâm hồn chim xuống chiều xoay hương sống vui trong mối tình muôn đường tình ngàn phương biết yêu nhau như lòng đại dương người phiêu lãng nước mắt xuôi về miệng quê To share with you, Master. Okay, tell me. Uh, as some good news I uh, received from the uh, initiate in Ola about the Ola Sea Opera. Th they say they enjoy it very much and they love it very much, and uh, they can't wait for every Thursday to watch the opera. They all said they love it very much, and uh, many of them even watch the, the show a few times a day. The Olaf initiate said the part that they love the best in the opera show is the part that you see next. Yeah. And we also love it it's very much. So It's a short one, huh? Yes. Yeah. Would, you, would you please sing us a few more <laughs> opera songs? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, hey. Master. It was just a joke. It was at uh, that time I was with all the Vietnamese and you know how they press me with their loving <laughs> longing for some Vietnamese songs. So I just sing a short one for them, but uh, not now. I appreciate your your kind uh, encouragement, but maybe another time. You know, we need a live audience, huh? <laughs> maybe. Also, we have to find some good one. I mean, good vong uh, cổ, huh? Not the sad one like Tình Lan và Điệp. Ai nức nở quỷ bên chánh điện như thôi. Trời ơi, sao mà buồn quá. <laughs> Next time maybe okay, another time. Thanks a lot anyway. I love Phong Cổ. I love all the songs. I love poetry. I love Vietnamese traditions. Traditional literature. I love all the traditional literature and poetry and songs. And people like it. I like it. I also look forward so I, every Thursday to, to watch the <laughs> buffalo. <laughs> Thank you, Master. If it's for the world, you know, the larger audience, we should offer as beautiful translation as possible. Also to honor the Vietnamese uh, language, you know? 
which is very, very beautiful. And to me, it's the most beautiful language in the world. Very expressive, very musical, very poetic, very romantic, very melodious. Oh, it really touches your heart when you listen to it. Especially the poem, beautiful, beautiful. I love the Vietnamese language. I'm sure everybody loves their own language too. We thank you for your presence for today's Between Master and Disciples. Tune in next Friday for Part 7 of Supreme Master Ching Hai's discussion, A Great Mission, Saving the Planet. Animal World, Our Co-Inhabitants is up next, right after Noteworthy News, here on Supreme Master Television. May the Providence guide us in wisdom and love. <laughs>